Hello, everyone, and welcome back to IGFA's Greatest of All Time. Nick Haddad here with the IGFA, and I wanted to thank everyone who tuned in last week and to those of you who voted between Northern Pike and Wahoo this week. Wahoo was the winner, so I'm here in the records office. Going to pull the jacket and take a look inside. Excited to share this record with you guys. Although it is not as old as the swordfish record from last week, it's a really cool one and it's got a great story behind it. So let's see what we got inside. All right, guys, before we jump into this record and I show you the lure, the line, and the pictures, I just want to talk a little bit about why this record is so special. So this is a 184-pound wahoo caught by Sarah Hayward on July 29th, 2005. What makes it so special is it set three IGFA records with one catch. So she set not only the all-tackle Wahoo record, but also the women's 80-pound line class record and the female junior world record for Wahoo. So I'm not sure off the top of my head if that's ever happened before, but it's certainly a rare occasion to have three records set at once. So let's take a look at some of this stuff. So let's just take a second and admire just how big this Wahoo is. I mean, 184 pounds is an absolute monster Wahoo. It defeated the previous all-tackle record by over 25 pounds. Um, something interesting to note here, the weight says 192 pounds on this initial picture. That's because the first scale used at this marina was not certified and it was an older scale. Luckily, they radioed in a bait and tackle shop that was coming over at the time. They were coming in with a certified scale, so 184 pounds was the certified weight. Also, you'll see 50-pound test. So, as I mentioned before, it's not only the all-tackle record, but it's the women's 80-pound line class world record. So, we got 80 pounds because the line actually tested over 50 pounds. It broke at 60 pounds in breaking strength. You can see that right up here. The line test was 60, so it was placed in the women's 80-pound line class category. And additionally, it was the female junior world record, as I mentioned before. She was 15 years old, and it was caught in Cabo San Lucas on July 29th, 2005. So unfortunately, we did not get a girth on this fish, but it was 90 inches in length, and we have some of the tackle used. It was a, a Shakespeare Tidewater rod, with a Shimano reel, 50 pound test line, and they were caught it trolling, and the fight time was 45 minutes in length. So a couple other things on here. Um, we have the gaff information, a 75 inch homemade gaff, and the lure was the Mean Joe Green, a Zucker lure, which I have right down here, and we'll take a closer look at. And on top of that, the captain's name was Jerry Martinez, and the boat was a 28 foot Californian. All right, so on top of that, we have descriptions of the catch from Sarah herself, and also from the owner of the bait and tackle and from the captain. So this is where we really get to hear a lot of the story that comes out and what makes an amazing catch. Uh, we have the tackle down here. This is the Zucker Mean Joe Green. This thing is an absolute monster of a lure. It's really heavy. Um, you can see I brought my ruler out here about 12 inches in length. Both hooks fully contained within the skirt. And we have your steel connecting the two hooks, but no steel leader, which is quite rare for Wahoo. Had about 10 foot of looks to be maybe 100 pound, uh, 150 pound mono filament leader. And then we had our 50 pound main line right here. So that is the lure and the tackle used and getting into the story. So this is pretty cool. Sarah and her family visited Cabo San Lucas on vacation and her father wanted to fish and they booked a fishing trip with this Jerry captain who they spoke with the day before. And when it came time to wake up in the morning, um, Mr. Hayward tried to wake the whole family up. Everyone said it was too early and Sarah was the only one who decided to go. So this really kind of proves that Anyone can catch a world record at any given day. You never know when it's going to happen. Just a really, really cool catch. And, you know, luck might be part of it, but also skill at the same time. So she picked the right day. She was the only one in the family to wake up and actually go fishing with her father and ended up catching one of the coolest records of all time. 
So thank you guys for watching. I want to send you off with my favorite picture of this record so we can take one last look. Just an absolutely incredible Wahoo. Um, one of IGFA's greatest records of all time. Despite it only being 15 years old, it will likely stand for a very, very, very long time. So remember to vote next week. We will have a poll up on Monday. We'll probably do two freshwater species so we can dive in the freshwater world a bit. And thank you guys for watching, and remember to stay safe out there.